you know there was a time when a single Soviet jet struck fear into the entire Western world? Not because it carried nuclear weapons, but because it redefined speed, power, and the limits of human ingenuity in the skies. Let's take a deep dive into the story of the MiG-25 Fox Bat, an aircraft born from Cold War paranoia and built to dominate an era of escalating aerial warfare. A jet built to chase the impossible. The MiG-25 wasn't just an aircraft, it was a message to the world. In the 1960s, when the United States unveiled advanced reconnaissance planes like the SR-71 Blackbird and the supersonic B-70 Valkyrie bomber, the Soviet Union knew it had to respond. The Mikoyan Gurevich Design Bureau was tasked with creating an interceptor fast enough to catch these threats and powerful enough to neutralize them. What emerged was the MiG-25, a marvel that pushed the boundaries of what a jet could do with its R-15B turbojets. The Fox Bat could reach speeds of Mach 2.83. That's more than 2,900 kilometers per hour, fast enough to leave most contemporary jets in the dust. But it wasn't just about speed. The MiG-25 had the altitude to match, capable of soaring above 27 kilometers, or 89,000 feet, for reference. That's higher than the cruising altitude of the U-2 spy plane. It became the ultimate high-speed, high-altitude interceptor, designed to chase down bombers and reconnaissance planes before they could pose a threat. A staggering design process. The Foxbat's capabilities came with significant challenges. Flying at such speeds generated enormous heat. So the engineers faced a dilemma. What materials could withstand such extreme conditions? While titanium was ideal, its high cost and difficulty of working with it made it impractical. Instead, they used a nickel steel alloy for 80% of the aircraft, with aluminum making up 11% and titanium only 9%. This decision added weight, resulting in an unarmed weight of 29,000 kilograms. Even the cockpit canopy needed innovation. It was made of E2 heat-resistant plexiglass to survive the blistering temperatures of supersonic flight. Engineers also relied heavily on welding, combining hand techniques with machine precision to construct the airframe. Yet the Fox Bat's massive engines and fuel tanks left it with a relatively short combat radius of 299 kilometers and a maximum range of just over 1,190 kilometers at low altitudes. Shattering records, testing limits. The MiG-25 wasn't just a weapon, it became a record-breaking machine. In March 1965, Alexander Vasilyevich Fedotov pushed the Ye-155 prototype to a speed of 2,319.12 kilometers per hour over a 1,000-kilometer circuit. Two years later, in October 1967, Mikhail Komarov achieved an incredible 2,181.5 kilometers per hour over a 500-kilometer circuit. But the real showstopper came in 1973, on July 25th. Fedotov climbed to an altitude of 36,240 meters, 118,900 feet, setting an absolute world record that still stands today. At this height, the engines flamed out due to the thin air, and the MiG-25 coasted on a ballistic trajectory. At its apex, it slowed to just 75 kilometers per hour, hanging in the stratosphere before plunging back to Earth. Other pilots, like Boris Orloff and Pyotr Ostapenko, set equally impressive time-to-height records, reaching altitudes of 20,000 meters in under three minutes. The MiG-25 wasn't just breaking records, it was redefining what was possible in aviation. The MiG-25 in action. When full-scale production began in 1969, the MiG-25R reconnaissance variant led the charge, followed by the MiG-25P interceptor in 1971. By 1982, the Soviet Union had built 460 MiG-25Ps. The improved MiG-25PD introduced in 1978 brought better radar and armament. With 104 units produced until 1984, this marked the end of the Foxbat's production as the factory pivoted to manufacturing the more advanced MiG-31. As an interceptor, the MiG-25 carried four R-40 air-to-air missiles capable of hitting targets as far as 60 kilometers away. In a secondary role, it could even carry gravity bombs. 
when dropped from an altitude of 20,000 meters at Mach 2. These bombs could travel several kilometers, adding a surprising strike capability to the aircraft. Western intrigue and a defection that changed everything. The West first caught a glimpse of the MiG-25 at the Moscow Air Show in July 1967, but it wasn't until September 6, 1976, that they truly understood what they were dealing with. That day, Soviet pilot Viktor Belenko defected to Japan, landing his MiG-25P at Hakodate Airport. Belenko's escape was a major intelligence coup. The aircraft was dismantled and thoroughly analyzed by U.S. and Japanese experts. They discovered that the Foxbat, while impressive, wasn't as invincible as feared. Its radar and avionics relied on vacuum tube technology, which was seen as outdated but our weight, limit assistant to electromagnetic pulses. The steel construction added engine's maneuverability and range, and while the engines could push it to Mach 3.2, Doing so risked destroying them. The aircraft was eventually returned to the Soviets in pieces, but the damage was done. Western intelligence had gained a clearer picture of the MiG-25's strengths and weaknesses, prompting the Soviet Union to upgrade the aircraft. The MiG-25PD and the legacy of innovation. The revelations from Belenko's defection led to the development of the MiG-25PD. Introduced in 1978, this version featured the new Safir 25 radar and an infrared search and track system. It could also carry R-60 air-to-air missiles, giving it a broader range of options in combat. Existing MiG-25Ps were retrofitted to this standard and redesignated as MiG-25PDS. Meanwhile, engineers experimented with more powerful engines. The R-15BF-2-300 engine added an extra compression stage and operated at higher temperatures, improving performance. Though it was tested in modified MiG-25s, this upgrade never reached production due to the arrival of the MiG-31. Despite these updates, the MiG-25's legacy remained tied to its role as a record-breaking pioneer. Pilots used the modified Ye-266M variant to set altitude and time to climb records in the late 1970s, proving the Foxbat's enduring relevance. A Cold War legend in action, the MiG-25 played a pivotal role during the Cold War, leaving a lasting legacy in Soviet and Syrian operations. In March 1971, the Soviet Union deployed two MiG-25R and two MiG-25RB reconnaissance aircraft to Egypt, assigned to the 63rd Independent Air Detachment known as DET-63. Their mission was bold, to fly over Israeli-held Sinai territory at incredible speeds and altitudes, ranging from 56,000 to 75,000 feet over the next year. DET-63 conducted roughly 20 reconnaissance missions. On November 6, 1971, one Soviet MiG-25 flying at Mach 2.5 was intercepted by Israeli F-4S, which unsuccessfully attempted to shoot it down. Another MiG-25 flew over Sinai at an astonishing Mach 3.2, though this pushed its engines to overspeed, forcing their replacement. DET-63 returned to the Soviet Union in 1972. But reconnaissance Foxbats came back to Egypt during the Yom Kippur War in October 1973. The Soviet-operated DET-154 remained stationed in Egypt until late 1974. The MiG-25's presence extended beyond the Middle East. In the 1970s, Soviet MiG-25 RBSH aircraft conducted reconnaissance missions over Iran in response to U.S.-Iranian joint operations. Meanwhile, in Europe during the 1980s, Swedish radar frequently observed Soviet MiG-25 interceptors performing intercepts against Lockheed SR-71 Blackbird reconnaissance aircraft over the Baltic Sea. These MiGs flew at 62,000 feet and maintained a high-speed pursuit of the Blackbird at 72,000 feet. Syria also utilized the MiG-25, with its first significant engagement against Israel occurring on February 13, 1981. The Israeli Air Force sent two RF-4E Phantom Jets over Lebanon as decoys, luring Syrian MiG-25s into a trap. 
Once the MiG scrambled, two Israeli F-15A fighters were ready, shooting down one MiG-25 with AIM-7F Sparrow missiles. The second MiG managed to escape. A similar event occurred on July 29, 1981, when another Syrian MiG-25 was shot down by an Israeli F-15A. The remaining MiG fired back with R-40 missiles but failed to hit its targets. The MiG-25 reappeared during the Syrian Civil War on February 8, 2014. Two Turkish F-16s intercepted a Syrian MiG-25 near the Turkish border, signaling the enduring relevance of this remarkable aircraft in global conflicts. A global Cold War icon, this legendary Soviet jet played a dramatic role in conflicts worldwide, with Iraq, India, and Libya among its key operators. In the Iran-Iraq War, Iraq's MiG-25s proved formidable, claiming 15 Iranian aircraft, including F-4S, F-5S, a C-130, and an F-14A on March 19, 1982. An Iranian F-4E suffered severe damage from an Iraqi MiG-25 missile. By April 1984, the MiG-25s had downed numerous Iranian jets, including an RF-4E reconnaissance plane. February 17, 1986, marked one of their deadliest strikes when a MiG-25 destroyed an Iranian Fokker F-27, killing 53 people. Iraq's most successful MiG-25 pilot, Colonel Mohammad Rayyan, achieved 10 air-to-air -air victories before being shot down and killed in 1986. The Gulf War further showcased the MiG-25's combat prowess. On January 17, 1991, Leterne Zuhair Dawood of Iraq's 84th Squadron shot down a U.S. Navy F.A. 18, piloted by Scott Spiker, marking a rare coalition aircraft loss to Iraqi forces, despite engaging U.S. F-15s in daring encounters. Many Iraqi MiG-25s were ultimately destroyed or hidden by the war's end. India's MiG-25s, nicknamed Garuda, excelled in reconnaissance missions. In May 1997, an Indian MiG-25RB flew over Pakistan at Mach 3, breaking the sound barrier at 66,000 feet. The incident, denied by India, highlighted the jet's dominance over Pakistan's air defenses. India retired its MiG-25 fleet in 2006, ending an era of high-speed espionage. Libya also operated MiG-25s, using them during the Gulf of Sidra incidents against U.S. forces. However, years of neglect grounded the fleet. During Libya's civil war in 2015, technicians attempted to revive a few MiG-25s. One crashed near Zintan while attacking a civilian airport, marking a tragic end to its legacy in Libya. A legacy of history books. The MiG-25 Foxbat was more than an aircraft. It was a symbol of the Cold War, a product of its time that combined raw power with groundbreaking engineering. It terrified Western militaries, inspired awe in aviation enthusiasts, and pushed the limits of what was possible in jet design, yet for all its achievements. The MiG-25 also exposed the realities of Soviet engineering. Built under immense pressure and constrained by cost and material availability, it embodied both the ingenuity and the compromises of its creators. The MiG-25 didn't just soar through the skies, it soared into the history books. It's a reminder of how technological innovation can reshape the balance of power, even if only for a moment. If you've enjoyed this deep dive into the legendary MiG-25, don't forget to like this video, subscribe to the channel for more fascinating aviation stories, and let us know in the comments. What do you think was the most impressive feat of the Foxbat? We'd love to hear your thoughts.